Epic Games has made a number of changes in their editor features from Unreal Engine 5.0 through Unreal Engine 5.4 with a lot of changes being done in 5.3 and 5.4. This video will be discussing some of the changes that update some of the world partition videos that I have created with the new features for 5.3 and 5.4. This benchmark series is Unreal Engine 5.0 through 5.4 Landscape Import Performance Test for how long it takes to import in each of the engine versions. This bench series is for Unreal Engine 5.0 through Unreal Engine 5.4 for how long it takes to package a project. This benchmark series is Unreal Engine 5.0 through 5.4 for performance of the play in editor at 1920 by 1080. This benchmark comparison is Unreal Engine 5.0 through Unreal Engine 5.4, an actual packaged build playback on an R9 5950X with RX 7800 XT. One of the Unreal Engine 5 changes that I have been told about with Unreal Engine 5.4 is that the X0Y0 tile set naming no longer imports. So we're going to test that right now. I've created two tile sets, one with X0Y0 and one with X00Y00, and we'll see which one will import correctly. So there's tile 8065 X0Y0. Let's see if that imports. Oh, it says no files found. So it looks like X0Y0 no longer works. Let's see if X00Y00 works. Yes, that appears to work. So it looks like Epic has changed the uh, height map file tile format. It can no longer be X0Y0. It has to be X00Y00. That format of naming is also available in TerraSculptor, so TerraSculptor can still export tiles of that naming. However, note that you shouldn't use tiles with world partition. Because what ends up happening is the size of the terrain is not a standard world partition terrain size when you use tiles. And it ends up padding and stretching the edges of the terrain. Where this will completely fall apart is where you're using things like a satellite map overhead texture material. It'll no longer line up with the edges of the terrain. For example... Well, it'll be 1009, just a minute. Okay, it'll be 8 times 1009. 
minus the shared edges, which is minus 7, which would be 8065. 8065 is not a standard resolution. 8161 and 8129 are standard resolutions. So what will end up happening is the edges will be stretched and padded on the height map. So it's not a valid size. So you shouldn't use tiles with Unreal Engine World Partition unless you know that you can deal with the padded stretched edges. Anyway, it looks like the uh, 5.4 has changed the naming convention for tiles. It now requires X00, Y00 naming. Just so that you know, the standard sizing metric for world partition terrains is 511 times N minus N minus 1, where N is the number of components. So, for example, if you've got 32 components, that will give you... 511 times n minus n minus 1, which is a 16321 by 16321 height map. That is a correct valid size for world partition. So you have to make sure you use the proper sizing, otherwise you're going to have a padded stretched edge on your terrain. So you have to be aware of that. One of the other changes in my World Partition video series is the changes from 5.0 up to 5.4 with the World Partition Minimap Cell feature. In 5.0 we have these cells that we actually select and load in the Minimap dialog, whereas in 5.4 they changed it to Regions, which you can actually see the region volumes in the main editor now and when you go into the minimap they are individual regions that you select and then right click and load most usually the regions are much larger than what the cells were which is probably why they changed that because the cells was so tiny it was annoying to deal with where the regions are actually specified though is when you import a landscape when we go to import from file, you can see the edit layers are enabled and we can see the world partition region size. You can specify the size of the regions. Now, with world partition, you should always have enable edit layers on. That actually limits you to 16321 by 16321 is the maximum terrain that you can have. But that gives you the ability to have edit layers on it. And the region size, you don't get regions if you go with a larger than 16321 terrain. So, for example, if you do something like the manual extend method, or you turn off edit layers so that you can import a terrain up to 32,000, you'll lose the regions. The regions no longer work anymore. So basically, if you want edit layers and you want regions, you're limited to a 16321 by 16321 terrain. Anyway, getting back to it, the regions is where we now control the component sections that are loaded within the editor. And of course, as I mentioned, you can see the volumes for each region within the editor. Personally, I don't like the region setup. I think it just clutters the display and find it a little bit annoying. Um, the regions also appear underneath of the landscape actor as well. So you could hide them if you wanted to by just hiding them within the outliner. Anyway, that's one of the other changes from 5.0 to 5.4. 5.3 and 5.4 have got regions, whereas 5.0, 5.1 and 5.2 have got cells. So that has changed in the World Partition uh, series of videos on my channel. In Unreal Engine 5.4, the landscape HLODs are also different than previous versions of the engine. When you build the HLODs, you no longer have to modify the LOD level of the terrain in order to be able to get the HLODs to the proper resolution. If I go into wireframe mode, you can see here that I've got HLODs as meshes 
around the terrain. So if I load a region, I've now loaded four regions of landscape using the landscape mesh. And if I go into wireframe mode, you can see the landscape in gray and the actual HLOD in blue for static mesh. So now in, in 5.4, it is correctly doing the HLOD at a low resolution. And it seems to do a better job of the seams on it, whereas on previous versions of the engine, you would have huge cracks in the seams between the terrain and the HLOD. So it looks like they've improved the HLOD a lot. So now you no longer have to go on to the landscape actor, modify its LOD in order to get the HLOD to be at a proper low resolution. It appears to be functioning correctly now in 5.4.